I've been thinking about pendulums lately. I wanted to explore the physics and as a result we have this video. I hung a fishing weight in my closet and let it swing back and forth. In this video we will be finding the tension and acceleration at its initial position, velocity at the bottom of the swing, and the period of the swing of the fishing weight. So let's first begin by going over what the givens are. We have the swing radius of 0.5 meters. This is sometimes referred to as the length. We have gravity of 9.8 meters per second squared. We have the starting angle of 25 degrees, and finally a mass of the fishing weight of about 0.03 kilograms. We will start out by finding the tension and acceleration. The first thing that needs to be completed is drawing a free body diagram. The free body diagram consists of a triangle with a hypotenuse of mass times gravity. Now recall that the mass times gravity is always going to go straight down. Doing some basic trig, we can solve the right triangle for the tension portion and the acceleration portion. So the tension will equal the cosine of the angle times the mass times gravity, and in this case it is equal to 0.266 newtons. For the acceleration, we can take the sine of the angle times the acceleration due to gravity to give us 4.14 meters per second squared. Now if we wanted to solve for the tension at any given point, we can use the formula mass times gravity times the cosine of the angle plus mass times velocity squared over the length. This is simply the equation to find the tension at rest with the centripetal acceleration equation we used in previous videos added to it. To solve for the velocity of the swing and the period of the swing, we will be using three formulas. The formulas are as follows. Energy equals one-half mass times velocity squared, or energy equals mass times gravity times height. Then to find the period, we will be using time equals two pi square root of swing radius divided by acceleration due to gravity. To solve for the velocity, let's set the two energy equations to equal to one another. We can then isolate the velocity to one side, and we notice that the masses can be cancelled out. After doing a little bit more simplification, we find that the velocity equals the square root of two times gravity times height. Now that we have our equation, we need to find the height. The height in this case is the vertical distance from initial position to the bottom of the swing. So to complete this, we can take the cosine of the angle at initial position times the swing radius or length to get the length relative to the top of the swing. Now we can take the total swing radius minus the cosine of the angle times the swing radius to get our height relative to the bottom of the swing of 0.0468 meters. We can plug our numbers into the velocity formula we found to give us our velocity at the bottom of the swing of 0.958 meters per second. Finally, we can plug our swing radius and acceleration due to gravity into the time for a period formula to give us our total time for one period of 1.42 seconds. I placed a timestamp on the video and you can see that the 1.42 second time is pretty close to the fishing lure pendulum example. That concludes this video. Thank you all for watching.